Yeah. Rocky Marciano was a professional boxer. Marciano. He held the title of World Heavyweight Champion of the World from 1952 to 1956, one of history's greatest fighters. He was born in Brockton, Massachusetts in 1923 and won the Golden Gloves title as an amateur. Marciano fought low and out of a crouch, and although he was much shorter than his opponents, he had a fervent desire and a devastating right hand. He turned pro in 1947 and progressed steadily through the ranks, defeating the likes of Roland Lestarza, Don Mogard, Ted Lowry, and Joe Lewis. In 1952, he challenged Jersey Joe Walcott for the heavyweight championship. The slick veteran Walcott knocked down Marciano in the first round and gave him a sustained beating for 12 rounds. In the 13th round, Marciano closed in on Walcott and uncorked a devastating right hand, which put Walcott down for the count. As a champion, he fought Don Cockle, a rematch with, with La Starza, and Archie Moore. In an epic battle with Ezard Charles, Marciano's nose was horribly split and was given one more round by the referee to close matters. Marciano showing true grit did just that, knocking out Charles in the ninth round. Marciano then retired in 1956 with a record of 49 wins, zero losses, with 43 of those wins coming as the result of a knockout. He is the only heavyweight champion in history to retire undefeated. In 1969, Marciano boarded a single-engine Cessna in Chicago for a flight to Des Moines, Iowa. Marciano wanted to get back to Fort Lauderdale to celebrate his 46th birthday. Shortly before landing, the plane crashed into a cornfield in Newton, Iowa. Marciano, his friend Frank Farrell, and the pilot Glenn Bells were all killed instantly. In 1990, 21 years after his death, Marciano was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. If you wish to check out Rocky Marciano's final resting place, he can be found at Forest Lawn Memorial Garden Central in Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida. He is in the main mausoleum in the center of the stadium, in the center of the cemetery. He's in section AA, bottom row, fourth from the right behind the statue of a woman in a large water pool. If you take and come into the mausoleum, there's the first main area. Veer to the left, go down to the second section, which is when you'll see that the alphabet starts again through from A to Z, now it starts at AA. And right there to the right, the bottom, the bottom, you fourth from the right, you will find the final resting place of Rocky Marciano and his wife. Rocky's wife unfortunately passed away four years after him from lung cancer. As always, continue to look for the history and film. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Until next time.